Hey everybody, it's February 15, 2017. It's Wednesday, and this is daily vlog number 291. <clears throat> and uh, it's a uh, hump day for most people, but I'm uh, getting ready to start my work week. Getting ready to go to work. But uh, I've got some stories I wanted to tell you about today before I run off to work. Uh, first one here is uh, state's attorney clears uh, man of shooting suspect that was beating a police officer. It seems that um, a police officer in Florida was um, making a traffic stop and uh, during this traffic stop he was almost hit by another vehicle. So he gave chase and he got this other vehicle stopped and the occupant driver of this vehicle came out and started attacking the officer. And um, another motorist drove by, uh, and this person uh, that was seeing this happen um, had a illegal concealed carry permit, and he had his weapon on him, and he pulled over, and he told the person that was beating the officer to stop or he was going to fire <clears throat> the person uh, that was... Uh, straddling the officer, had him down on the ground beating him, didn't heed the warning, so the motorist shot the man and saved the officer. And uh, the uh, <coughs> state's attorney, after uh, the investigation was over, determined that there was uh, no reason to file any charges against the motorist that uh, shot the man beating the officer. And you know this this time the courts um, came through uh, because you can legally shoot someone that is uh, threatening the life of another person, and uh, he was perfectly within his rights. He warned the guy that if he didn't stop beating the officer, he was going to fire, but the man just kept on anyway, beating the officer. So. There was nothing the uh, uh, Good Samaritan could do. He, he had to stop the man from being the officer, so he fired. And then in an, uh, another article, uh, this is kind of uh, almost straight out of Star Trek Next Generation. A uh, company has uh, <clears throat> created a visor type uh, device called the uh, eSight 3 that allows blind people to see. This woman, she had uh, <clears throat> become blind after uh, she had an accident and then her vision started failing and she became legally blind. But with this device, uh, it uh, looks like a um, visor device, not exactly like what Jordy LaForge wore in Star Trek Next Generation, but um, <clears throat> Um, with this on, it uh, fits over her glasses, and she's able to see in the distance. She's able to read. She's able to read a menu off the wall. Uh, just about anything uh, a normal sighted person can do, she can do with the exceptions of she can't drive and can't swim because you can't get this wet. <laughs> but other than that, um, she has a perfectly normal life just about and uh, that's that's good to see you know people have been motivated <clears throat> by Star Trek to invent these things uh, and uh, I think it's a good thing we're helping people out and then another story a woman in um, Vancouver, British Columbia. She uh, <clears throat> worked at a Burger King for 24 years. And in that time, she had never been reprimanded for anything. But uh, she was fired for taking a uh, fish sandwich combo meal uh, without paying. And uh, she took the Burger King owners to court, and the judge awarded her $46,000. <clears> now, here's why. Uh, she's a Hindi woman, and, and she uh, 
didn't speak much, much English, and she immigrated to the United States, <clears throat> and uh, she only has an eighth grade education, so she didn't speak much English, but she had worked at this Burger King for 24 years and was still making minimum wage after 24 years, mind you. Um, now, one day she had forgot her wallet, so she asked her manager if she could have a uh, fish sandwich and fries. And the manager, uh, there was a miscommunication and he didn't understand her. He thought she was just asking for a sandwich and that she would pay it back later. <clears throat> well, anyway, she took a fish sandwich, fries, and a drink, and then the manager waited for her to pay for this food. He waited a couple of days, I think, and it all totaled for like a dollar after the employee discount. But she never did pay for the meal, so he notified the owners, and the owners fired her. Well, in court, it came out that um, she had asked for the meal, but the manager didn't understand. He thought she was only asking for a uh, fish sandwich and that she'd pay it back later, but what she was asking for was a meal uh, that she could take home with her. Um, and because of this, the uh, judge awarded her $46,000. Now, it didn't say anything about getting her job back, but I would think they should also have to give her job back if she wanted it. But it's like my wife Cindy said, she probably wouldn't want to be working there after she got fired. But she was the sole provider for her family. Uh, and that was her only job at the time. And like I said, she only had a, a fifth or uh, an eighth grade education, so she didn't have a lot of options. But no, it is uh, in Canada and it's British Columbia, but I don't understand how you can get away with having a person work at a business for 24 years and not give them a raise. <laughs> I don't understand that. But anyway, um, all of these articles are on my Google Plus page, and the link to that will be down in the description if you want to look at uh, these articles and more. Uh, so uh, give those a look, and um, hope everybody's having a good day today. And if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. The link's down below. And tell your friends and family about my channel and my videos. Also, check out my social media sites, G+, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you missed yesterday's vlog, just click on the image to the left. And please check out my website, the Chuck Baker homepage at chuckbaker.org. The link's up at the top. Until tomorrow, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.